Hi friends, it's Auntie Cuckoo here. Welcome back everyone. Today I have a Dollar Tree haul for you all. So I've been in the Dollar Tree and finding lots of fun new things and I have some things to share with you all that I picked up in my last two trips to the Dollar Tree. So I've been a little bit sparse here on YouTube. We've had some things going on. My husband's been out of town for business but I'm back and I have a few projects coming up. So let me start with what I picked up for one of those projects. I have two April birthdays. Both of my boys would like a pirate ship as their birthday cake. So I have made one about eight years ago, exactly eight years ago. And this year they both want one again. So I'm going to attempt to do this now and I'm a little bit hesitant because we don't have the little toys and stuff that I used to make it the first time around. The boys are a lot older, but apparently there's a new pirate game out and so that's what they've requested. So at my Dollar Tree, I picked up some Rolos. Now I thought these would be really good for little treasure, maybe piled up on the side. They're sort of that bronzy gold color, and I thought, okay, I can work with that. So I got two packs of those. I picked up these white fudge flips, and I thought I might be able to use these to make railing or something on the ship. Wish me luck. And then I just thought that these would be good colors to add to the pirate ship. I got the A&W Root Beer Licorice and the Dr. Pepper. This one's kind of almost black, but we don't like black licorice, so those will be in my project. I picked up two of the Purulines, I believe is how it's pronounced, and they have them in a few different flavors. This one is the Chocolate Hazelnut. I thought those would be good cannons. And then for the cannons, you're gonna need the ammo. So I got some Whoppers. I just got one, I figured I could split that up. And I was just looking for things that I could use to build with. I'm not sure how I'm gonna use them, but I got some of the rod pretzels. So hopefully that'll be a project that I can share with you all if you're even interested. Um, how I make a pirate ship birthday cake. Because apparently I'll be making two in the month of April. Now on to some household and personal use items. So the Bolero bath bombs. I shared these in a haul and I had picked up two of the grapefruit. This is so good. This is a really good bath bomb. So I did pick up one more it smelled really, really good. It dissolved really well. It left my skin really soft. I am very happy with that scent in particular. I haven't tried the others. The Kiss Nail Polish is back in stores and I picked up this color. It's kind of a dark fuchsia type pink. Just painted my toes with it and I really, really like it. I did go back to my Dollar Tree and remembered to pick up one of the LA Colors Brow Pencil. I'm sort of waiting for a sale at Ulta that's coming up on the Anastasia Beverly Hills. I've never tried it. I normally go into Ulta with a coupon and pick up my little NYX um, knockoff brow liner, but I know that it's going to be $10 on the 31st. So I'm sort of just waiting to get that. So I figured I'd give this a try in the meanwhile. I've never tried it. Okay, I did pick up more. I found more of these greenery bouquets. These are the really pretty floral that Dollar Tree's put out this month. Good job, Dollar Tree, keep it up. I love these. So someone had asked in the comments for the barcode number so that they can look it up and I'm gonna go ahead and show you you can go ahead and pause it now if you wanted to get those numbers because there's actually 
the barcode number as well as a number there at top so I'm not sure if that'll work looking it up that way but I love these I picked up two more of this one I love it with the yellow and the berries household stuff so I really like this it's just the tidy bowl toilet enhancer <laughs> Oh, toilet and answer. It's a Friday. Um, so it's just, it says that it continuously cleans and I have kids. So any amount of help I can get with the toilets, I will take. It has a little plastic nub there that you just push out and it can hang inside of your tank once you open it up. So toilets are on my to-do list and I will be using one of those in each and speaking of toilets I looked out and my store was stocking and they had just put out this entire box of the Lysol gel clicks these are one of my favorite items from the Dollar Tree hands down so they just come in little packages like this they're a dollar each and I'll open one cuz I gotta do the toilets anyways this is what it looks like and it has a little tab there that you peel off and then you just sort of push it up around the rim of your toilet I put it towards the front so that the kids don't see it and go oh what's that and you just click it you literally click it and all of that gel gets stuck up along the rim and it's a great deodorizer and that's all I'm gonna say about that but it is one of my favorite things to pick up and then I found something new I'm not sure if this has been in stores before but it's definitely new to me it's the garbage disposal cleaners and it's in fresh citrus they're these little orange gel beads and so I guess you just throw them in there and run your it says run garbage disposal with a full stream of water for a minute and then turn off disposal reduce the stream to slow drop one of these in and then let it sit for 15 seconds and then run your disposal again so I'll let you guys know how that goes and yeah never seen those before I did need some more fabric softener sheets, so I picked up the Breezy, and it's a 55 count. My stores are fully stocked on the Amopay Petty Perfect kits. So you guys have probably seen these all over YouTube, and I picked up two just to have on hand to maybe add to like maybe a little gift basket with some nail polish and that sort of thing. I have only seen this version in all of my stores. I thought I had seen the refill pack at one of them, but I went back the next day and either someone bought them or I didn't really see them. So I think there's a different version that's got the pink tool and also the cuticle oil in a, like a nail bottle brush but I've never used it. I probably won't use it, but I did think that would be good to have on hand to add to little gift baskets. And I picked up some rope. They have this in a few colors and we live next to a park. There are a ton of trees and all of the kids in the neighborhood go out there and create swings out of skateboards, I mean, you name it. And so we've got a birthday coming up and I know that there is more rope needed for the after school play that happens at the end of our street. Let me pick a few of these things up. So these are not new to Dollar Tree hauls in YouTube, but I was able to pick up the Nemo and Dory body wash and it is not a three-in-one it's just a children's body wash but I picked these up because we 
are part of a pool during the summer and there are outdoor showers and we love to stay there until the sun goes down and we hang out with friends. Sometimes we have pizza or dinner poolside and then there's outdoor showers. So I like the kids to shower there after a day at the pool and then we head home and they're clean and they can transfer right into their pajamas and into bed. So I like to have fun little things like this to get them excited about showering at the pool. And last year, Walmart had out a Minions version and that worked out really well. So I'm gonna let the kids use up one of these and then fill it with shampoo, maybe a shampoo and conditioner because this is just body wash, but I think those will be really cute in our pool bag and help out with our summer routine. They had this bubble bath in Elsa. I had to think of her name. And they also have it in the Cars version and it is a big bottle. This is a 24 fluid ounce of bubble bath and it's by Disney Cars and it smelled good. So they had a few others that were pretty popular characters. I'll show them in my next Dollar Tree shop with me, but they did not smell good at all. And they had a little pump on them. So I just picked this up for my little guy. And then I got a few things for my auntie stash. I had shared with you guys that I found the imitation Legos and I did pick up a mass quantity of them. I bought all of the black that I could find, all of the white and all of the blue because our youngest likes to build things out of Legos. Like he makes little M&M dispenser machines or little cubes and he gets the little mechanisms and stuff. And so he wanted a lot of the black, white, and blue, but then I also picked up some to have on hand for little gifts. So you get 48 and there's some good size pieces in there. I mean, they're not authentic Lego. They're by top blocks, but for little projects or just a little fun gift, I think that that's fine. They have the black. They have the red, the yellow, and the white. And then they have these little bases. So they had four different colors of the base. I just bought two, I got the gray. So this one is probably like a five inch square. And I got the gray and the green. And they also had it in the bright blue, like the Legos, and the white was the other color. And that's my Dollar Tree haul. So I do have a couple of DIYs coming up soon that I have planned for you all. And there is one thing I wanted to share with you. So hold on just a second. I'm gonna go ahead and pause. I forgot to grab it but I wanted to remember to share a dud or stud with you all where I tell you about something I bought at the Dollar Tree and whether or not I think it's worth it. So hold on just a second. Sorry about that guys, I forgot to grab it. I wanted to love it. This is the Kraken Eggs. So I'm sure a lot of you have seen these in your stores. I think they had it in like blue and purple and yellow. It's one of those impulse buys up by the register. I bought it. So it's a microwave egg cooker. It comes in this little thing. I picked up the yellow one and it comes apart. It's got a clear little lid with some ventilation holes it clicks closed and the white liner is secured in there. It's not like it's two pieces. It also comes with this little recipe book and it does give you instructions in English and Spanish for protein snack, eggs and ham, mini frutatas. I tried it. 
I really wanted to like it. In my opinion, it's a dud. And it's a dud because you can only fit one egg in here. I don't know about you guys, but when I have eggs, I want two. And when I make the kids eggs, I make them at least two. And so if it were just bigger, it could be a total stud. It worked. I was able to scramble the eggs in it, pop it in the microwave, and it turned out like a microwaved egg. You can also do that in a bowl, and I've done that before. I would totally use this and buy it again if it was double the size, but I feel like the size is prohibitive, and so I'm gonna give it a dud rating. There are three things in front of me I totally forgot to share. This is a fun little thing they're putting out right now called a sound machine and I just thought I would add that to, again, my anti-stash. And it's got a whistle, a boom sound, a siren laughing, a dog barking, drum, and something else. Sorry, the kids just came home. So that along with Lots of superhero Hot Wheels are in my stores, so I don't know much about superheroes, but I figured Flash would be really fun, and they did have an entire series of the Justice League, and I guess this is Series 7. They all have their number, and then they have the Batman, and they have, this is Series 6. So I picked up two of those to add to my stash. And that's everything. So thank you all so much for joining me. I always appreciate hearing from you in the comments. Let me know if you've tried any of this out and I will see you all very soon in the next video.